because of Golf Sidekick, this dude is like obsessed with this book and now I see why. I've been reading Putting Out of Your Mind by Dr. Bob Rotella. And there are lots of kind of rules for putting in this book that I've been trying to incorporate into my game. Uh, it's not easy. You have to change your mental wherewithal quite a bit in order to make this happen. The first time that I really, really implemented this in, in a serious way, I too putted 15 out of 18 holes. And that's with a $5 putter that I got in an antique store that it's just basically a hunk of brass, right? My putting has been bad, so I don't have a whole lot to lose. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep trying this for a while. Now the next round I went out and I didn't two putt as many times. I had several three, put three putts that kind of killed my score to be honest. However, I recognize that the looking back at the shots that I missed or the three putts that I missed, the issue was I wasn't following what this dude is saying in this book. So, um, you know, I think it's going to be a process. But let's go through a couple of the key, you know, there, there, there are a lot of key precepts in this. Can't hit them all in this video. But let's go through and look at some of the most key ones um, and see, see what we can learn from that. Anyway, let's, let's take a look. All right, the first two tips are kind of combined. Putt to make it and never putt for a three-foot circle. I know you've heard about the garbage can lid and that kind of thing. So you can see here, I'm trying to get in that circle for this putt. And because of that, I don't give it enough. Now, take a look, though, when I go just for the hole to make it, putting to make it. Bam, right in the hole. Again, just to the hole. I'm going straight to the hole. Now, look, you're going to miss some of these, granted. But I'm telling you, they, it works better than that other one. Now, look, the smaller the target you have, the better your brain will adjust. So not only are you aiming right to make it in the hole, but he recommends that you actually go for a, a blade of grass on the far side of the cup. So do that. And then finally, the last thing you want to do is worry about speed. This is super hard because this is what keeps you leaving putts short. And you can see me do it here. I was definitely afraid of pushing this past the hole. And, I'm, and that should have been a one putt. Same thing here. I was really afraid of going too far because it was on a down slope. And I leave it way too short. Oh, this is just heartbreaking. It's horrible. Even worse... When you're afraid of leaving it too long, sometimes you don't hit it at all and the break takes you out of the, of the putt. On the other hand, if you go for the back side of the hole and if you miss it, so what? A lot of the time, it goes in. All right, so thanks. Thanks for sitting with me on this. We're gonna keep this up. I think for all high handicappers, this is going to be a boon for you. It's something that is not easy to accomplish, but will definitely, definitely take strokes off of your game. And you don't need the best swing of all time. You don't need to go hit 18,000 balls at the driving range. This is all about the mental game. Uh, very, very, very important and very, very difficult. So keep it up. Keep getting those scores lower, and I'll see you on the golf course. Thanks a lot. And just so you know, the last round that I did right before I made this video, I three-putted once. <laughs>